The Rafi drum repairing and coating method will be presented. The kit contains a custom made drum rotator spray booth and small tools along with a variety of chemical formulas are included. The process is described in the following. Laser printer repairing drum kit. The drum cleaner is a compound to clean the drum without removing any portion of its transport layer. Deucer is a mixture that etches and cleans the residue left over from the spraying process. The stripper is used to strip drums that are rejected so they can be coated again. The defogger is the first process to be applied. It is an etching and replacing solution used as a transport layer. The knife scratch is one of the tools that you'll be using to prepare the chip surface. The fine brush is used to apply a fine drop of chip filler to fill the chip. The stick scratch filler is used to fill the groove that prints the scratch line. Copier drum repair kit. The drum cleaner cleans any drum prior to the coating process. The air pen reducer, as mentioned before, cleans the residue of the formulas. The stripper, again, you may strip with this formula any coated drum that failed in the process. The Lime Jam Pure formulas are effective for all copier drums. Please note that for copier drums, we do not use any defogger formula. The copier drums fall into two categories. For the black background, you should use this lightener, this yellow one. For the light background, you should use this darkener, the purple one. Charge magnet roller and wiper blade treatment. The etcher formula is a process that acts as a primer to clean and etch the wiper blade, the magnet roller and the charge roller. The wiper blade becomes yellowish, dry and rough edge when it has used one cycle or more. To repair this, we use this formula, the wiper blade guard, which revives its flexibility, shape and angle for better friction with the drum. It is an easy dipping process. We use this, the charge roller coating, in a spraying manner. This controls the electric charge that is transmitted through the rubber sleeve. Airbrush set assembly. Rocky supplies the complete kit except for the air compressor. These are the air hose. One end will be connected to the air compressor and the other end to the airbrush. Usually a special hub is prepared to accept half inch adapters. For easy operation, we use the airbrush holder. Two two ounce jars can be inserted. One jar for the PC finish and one for the defogger. In these holes, we rest the airbrushes. Usually in this situation, the hoses are already connected. A full installation will be instructed in the manual video instruction. Video manual instruction. The complete system is described in a 24 page booklet. It is divided by subject and will end up with a sample pattern of the spraying thickness that you should achieve with the air brush. There is also a 90 minute video instruction. A pegboard sample is included that holds drum vertically. You can make other boards with different size pegs for your need. The drum rotator spray booth. The drum rotator is set for 5 SI, the long drums. It can be adjusted to accept shorter drums or rollers up to 10 inches long. The spray booth has a special switch that operates the fan exhaust located behind this filter. The filter is an easy installation and can be recycled. Just rinse with hot water and reinstall it. Drum coating process. This is a custom made drum rotator spray booth that holds drums and rollers from 10 inches up to 16 inches in length. In this video, we are going to demonstrate in short almost everything you should know before purchasing the Rocky system. We begin with an SX EPS drum repairing and coating process. Based upon the test sheet, as we can see here, the drum has foggy spots at the two edges, resulted from overexposed and wearing. This first process is the defogging. A new transport layer is added by the spraying. The defogging is an etching solution with three targets. 
One, it etches out a portion of the worn off old transport layer to make room for the additional coat without increasing the drum's perimeter. Two, this solution replaces the missing transport layer. Three, ultimately, this spraying creates a rough tacky surface to accept the next process to be bonded permanently, which is the Super Amber Pure. Next comes the Super Amber Pure, which is the final layer, and it can be controlled to the last up to three cycles, depending on the number of scans you decide to apply. The more you apply, the more it will last. Let it dry at room temperature. In this condition, you can produce about 20 coated drums in one hour. More details will follow in the video instruction after you purchase the system. We at Rocky are working diligently on improving the method. We started in 1986 with a simple coat, like our competitor's process of today. A process that will protect the good drum only. Today we have a complete system that can repair all drum imperfections as shown in this video. The process looks simple and easy because of the intense Rocky research staff during the past 11 years. We put our effort into refining and simplifying the process. See, it's shiny and glossy finish. Scratch repairing. Place the drum on the top of the test sheet with the small gear on your left. This will enable you to locate the scratch mark on the drum. Working under good lighting condition helps to see the scratches. Of course, there are some caution to be taken, but they will be described within the instruction video. Small chip repairing A and B. There are two types of chip repairs, the light small ones and the deep large ones. For the small chips, we use chemical A and B, which is a diluter and the chip filler. First, you have to locate the chip by aligning the drum over its test sheet, using a flannel as a guider, and with the help of a selected microscope, we work on the chip. The AV process is simple and easy. However, it is converting the black dot to become a white dot, which is okay for regular print, but not for graphics work. But if you intend to use this drum for graphics work, you must use the CND process, which works perfectly for all print, including the graphics work. Once it is dry, we buff it, and it is all set. The drum is patched, and the chip is like it has never been there, and print perfectly for graphics work. Wiper blade treatment. This is the wiper blade. As you can see, this blade is already yellowed, dry, and bent as a result of the heat from the laser printer. These sketches will help you understand the process. In fact, we are reforming the old wiper blade to be straight, flexible, and sharp edge to wipe all access of toner from the drum. HP4 drum coating process. This is the test sheet of an EX drum, which is also known as HP4 and HP5. We coat this drum and others like the LX, PX, NX, same way as we do here, wiping the drum dry. The Rocky system does not require a special clean room. The airbrush jet will blow away all toner residue and dust. Looking at this test sheet, we see here black spots on both edges. With the defogger, we repair and apply the missing transport layer according to the test sheet. Some defogging here and more on the other edge. We continue to apply layer after layer of defogger, depending on the darkness of the test sheet. There is a big advantage when using the Rocky system. All Rocky formulas have a UV filter protector within the formulas, so that once the drum is coated, it will never be damaged from overexposed to light. See it to believe it, shiny and smooth with a pleasant fragrance. Stripping coated drums. We strip the coated drums in order to recoat them again. It is as simple as it looks. The Rocky method is the only system that repairs drums with scratches, chips, and black foggy spots. The Rocky system can also be a way of coating any drum before they get damaged. Testing the coated drums. The final testing is like the pretest, with one exception. The pretest was done with laser density number one, 
in order to reveal all problems that may occur during the cycle. After the drums have been repaired and coated, then we test them at laser density number three because it is the closest density that your customer will be using. The Rapi process can work effectively with any kind of toner for all contrast saturation at laser density number one through number nine. As you can see, your test sheet is perfect. There are no scratches, no dots. Very dark to meet the graphic work quality. Again, the test sheet is clean, no scratches, no foggy spots, and perfect for graphic work. The PC finish is also designed to act as a filter, safe light for OPC to reduce the risk of light exposure during the reconditioning. This color filter, however, transmits the right wavelength to the OPC, which results in a darker, deeper printing, perfect for the graphic application. Because the coated drums have a UV filter protection, they look different than any other drums. Use this as an advantage and outlight it as a marketing edge to your business. Finish color may vary. To know more about the Rocky system, write to Rocky Laser Images Incorporated, 270 Center Street, Holbrook, Massachusetts, USA.